Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming out this morning. Appreciate your, your presence uh, when we release this report card every year. I'm Adrian Montani with First Call BC Child and Youth Advocacy Coalition, and I want to start by acknowledging that we're grateful to be on doing our work today on the unceded traditional territories of the Musqueam, tsleil and Squamish nations. So today we're releasing the 21st Annual Child Poverty Report Card, BC Child Poverty Report Card, remembering the 1989 House of Commons promise to end child poverty in Canada by the year 2000. And so we monitor the progress, or the lack of progress, on fulfilling that promise every year. In addition to presenting the latest data on child and family poverty, this year we've again included stories from parents and grandparents whose encounters with inadequate supports and policy failures show us what needs to change in the years ahead if we want to reduce child and family poverty. This report is co-published with the expertise and support of SPARC, Social Planning and Research Council of BC, and we'll be hearing from Scott Graham shortly. We also want to thank our partners in Campaign 2000 nationally, who published the National Annual National Child Poverty Report Card, and there are seven other provinces who are releasing their report cards today as well, child poverty report cards. I want to acknowledge the financial support of the United Way of the Lower Mainland and the Vancouver Foundation, and the invaluable support from the BC Teachers Federation this morning in hosting us here for this press conference and providing technical support as well. And of course, we want to thank all of our member agencies in the First Call Coalition who support our ability to do this work because they've enriched this report with the facts and the individual stories that they're seeing in their work. They bring to our attention year round and help form the recommendations that you'll see in the report with their knowledge and their expertise. Our speakers this morning are Scott Graham, Associate Executive Director, Social Planning and Research Council of BC, who will walk us through the data and the recommendations in this report. And then we'll have Sean Bays, the Executive Director of the Elizabeth Fry Society of Greater Vancouver, who will speak about the mothers and children they work with who are living in deep poverty and some frequent homelessness. And why am I smiling? Carol Madsen, Executive Director, of Parent Support Services Society of BC, who will share some thoughts about the many grandparents who are raising their grandchildren in poverty in this province, and Georgia Brown. George is a grandmother raising her two grandsons, both of whom have special needs while on income assistance. As if that doesn't keep her busy enough, she does an amazing amount of volunteer work supporting other low-income families and individuals in their engagement with the courts and tenancy issues and other things. After the speakers, we'll open the floor to questions from the media. And, uh, and then afterwards, uh, there'll be time for individual interviews if you'd like to conduct them. So uh, we'll get started with Scott. 